Hi! Today we will take a closer look at a radioactive Soviet switch, the BH-45M. The production of BH-45M switches started in 1945 and continues till this day. This being said, not all of those switches are radioactive. Units produced until 1965 used radium paint, but in later models radium paint was replaced by a non-radioactive one. The very early models, which were produced until early 1950s, used radium bromide, while the ones produced later used radium sulfide. BH-45M switches are mainly used in military vehicles, such as tanks, but can also be found in some civilian ones. These switches were produced in countries of Warsaw Pact and can be found today cheaply at antique markets. As a result of constant exposure to nuclear radiation, the paint decays and with time it loses its radioluminescent properties. Today the glow from the switch is undetectable for a human eye, but a photo made with a long exposure shows that there is still a little bit of glow left. Radium painted items range in activity anywhere from few hundreds cpm to hundreds of thousands, depending on the amount of radium paint used. When it comes to BH45M switches, they are definitely on the hotter side. The one I have measures at around 220,000 cpm at 1 cm distance on a Panke probe, and 10 microsieverts, gamma only, at 1 cm distance on my Racet gamma spectrometer. Just as expected, a gamma spectroscopy of a BH45M switch shows a very characteristic gamma spectrum for radium-226 and its decay products. Radium is a particularly nasty element, not only because of its very high activity and radiotoxicity, but also because it decays into a radioactive gas called radon, which in large doses can be dangerous. Luckily, the switch I have is pretty well sealed and doesn't leak too badly, so the radon emission is relatively low. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee. And remember, stay active!